पोर्टल की वजह से ये गड़बड़ होगी थी टाइम काफी खर्च हो गया हमारा वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट राइट नाउ You are currently the only person in this conference. This is the slide. We were discussing that the basic component of the atomic resorption spectrometers are radiation source, chopper, atomizer, Uh, monochromator detector amplifier and the reader we were at this point this is the halotrol lamp this is the chopper this is the lens that is the atomizer here is the monochromator detector amplifier and the reader but a more a, a block diagram will be on the next slide and uh, i think this should be removed and the and that is this is these are the basic component again the same one that is ready in detect uh, atomizer monochromator detector amplifier and the reader so sorry for that these the number are the five six that this is the atomic absorption spectrophotometer this is the hollow cathode lamp it is emitting emitting radiation and they are passing through what they are giving us the radiation which has the, the power of being emitted from the source and now here the flame is there in which there are some uh, of the elements are present and they are absorbing this these radiation and after absorption some the intensity of this p not will be decreasing to from p not to p that is the transmission passing through chromatographer by monochromator and then it will be detected and then it is amplified in this flame we have fuel as well as air we are uh, we are passing fuel oxidation is being done by the air so the combination of fuel and the air it is the process and when these are pushing into this uh, chamber that is the atomizer we have a beaker in which our standard solution is there now this analyzing solution, when these are pushing with the high speed fuel and the air there is a vacuum inside this capillary tube due to in order to fill this capillary uh, vacuum the solution will be passing into this uh, uh, capillary tube and it is reaching in here in the flame in the form of fine aerosol just like the uh, perfume per, uh, vapors of the perfume you are using so that is in the spray in the spray for so these spray of these analyte this is we reaching here and there is the a flame in which certain chemical reactions are taking place and some source and they are um, uh, passing uh, all this now the, the difference between the initial intensity and that of the final intensity it is being recorded and then uh, uh, detected and then amplified and then the data in between this radiation source 
and this atomizer, there is a chopper. It is a rotating wheel placed in the hair, and which was shown in the previous slide here. This is the chopper. Yes. Now this chopper, it rotates the radiation uh, one way, and then it is detecting that is, uh, if it if this is uh, the, in, in which the, uh, this is rotating with a very high speed. This very high speed, it is a half half coated mirror. When it is half coated mirror, it means at some time when it is a, um, one portion is there, it means that there is no any atom atoms in this. It is not passing through it. It is passing in a, along this along this way. Why it, why passing this? When it is radiation passing here, it is reflected in this direction, and then it is coming combining here in the monochromator. So when this is passing in this direction, it means that it will be acting as a reference beam. Now, when it is passing through, it is the sample beam. So sample and the reference beam, it will be working as di. Uh, it is uh, it is working as a. Uh, um, uh, it is it, it, it is suppressed the it will give a difference between the what between the, uh, the same, uh, between the initial uh, reading initial intensity and that of the final intensity so both are reaching here and we are uh, we are to, uh, differentiate between the beam which is uh, not passing through the flame and the beam which is passing through the flame so difference will be there and when there will be a difference we say that it is the absorption. And this absorption is due to the atoms which are present here. How these are being formed? We are going to uh, we are going to discuss right now. Now before we are going to uh, atomize the again uh, special that is the radiation source. The halakoto lamp is used as radiation source. Yes. This is a special lamp. It is not a lamp, uh, you know, a bulb. It is not a, it is a bulb, but it is not, a, it is a special type of bulb. It is not as we are using in our uh, homes, in offices. It is a tungsten lamp. No, this is a different type. This is a hollow color lamp. The, in this hollow color lamp, this is a the bulb in which there are two, uh, one is the anode, Two, uh, two electrodes are there. One is anode and the other is cathode. Both these cathodes and anode they are placed in a glass envelope, which has a transparent quartz window. Okay, the anode is made of tungsten, and then the cathode is made of the element to be determined. This is the speciality. This is the speciality of the hollow cathode lamp or the atomic absorption spectrophotometer. That the cathode is made of the element to be determined. If you are going to determine, for example, calcium, the cathode is made of, of calcium. If you are going to measure the what? If you are measuring, you are going to make copper, so this cathode will be made of that of the copper. If you are measuring the zinc, this cathode will be made of zinc. If you are a, a, the lead, so this will be made of lead. This cathode will be made of lead. If you are measuring aluminium, so this will be uh, this cathode will be made up of of aluminium. It's mean, it's mean that there is no single source uh, uh, for the elements which are being used in meat. For example, the source of calcium will be different. Uh, we have a different lamp. For copper, it will be different. For zinc, it will be different. For steam, it will be different. For iron, it will be different. So, how, what, are, what element we are going to determine that we are using the hollow cathode lamp of that particular? Okay. Now, this in which these both anode and cathode are present, it contains inert gas such as or helium. But it's very low pressure. Okay. 